right, welcome to Tea Time. Again, acrylics and mixed media. This is matte heavy body acrylics. You can see nice earthy uh, colors mixed with a little bit of green. Uh, so browns, greens, uh, you can't go wrong with that. So a little bit of glue directly onto my surface here. Again, roughly 10 by 10 on the artwork size. And right away, I'm going to take some collage paper and just uh, cover that background up. I think that was an old rooster drawing and now I'm going to use that. I'll put a little bit of uh, just different colors, layers, there's even some crayon, some orange crayon scribbled in there. So that's probably got two or three layers of just leftover paint, um, different things on it, some crayon scribbles and uh, so it's just a great, great piece of art material to work with here. You can see I'm just piecing it together. You know, that was just a piece that had been cut on several times. And I just, you know, got the most out of it with the first initial one. And then now I'm just cutting it down um, to make pieces that are going to fill in the gaps here. So I've got even more here. So uh, careful, of course, when I'm cutting over the artwork. It's uh, I've gone too deep sometimes and uh, made some boo boos. So you got to be careful there. It's probably a bad example to show you, but all right. So just kind of painting directly over the paper there, um, making sure the edges stay down. And now there's a little bit of excess there, so I can easily just trim off the ends and give it a good pressing there get all that pressed into the glue nice and firmly into the artwork paper um, and that should be good to go so um there it, there it is so, i mean that bottom left hand corner is going to be a white table anyway so i just left that out and here just taking my white uh directly titanium white directly onto the paper again using heavy body matte acrylics. Now I'll remind myself where everything is. So I'll use my pencil and draw right into the wet paint. Uh, so getting that tea kettle, the star of the show placed in there nicely against that nice white tabletop. And I've got my handle there. Whoa, probably a little too big of a handle on that kettle. I'll go back at some point, I think, and make that smaller kind of a quirky little coffee cup there or tea cup and made that a little bit too big so I just kind of smudged it out with my fingers. All right, hair dryer time. So um, removing all the small scrap pieces of paper that were around so they don't blow all over my studio. And then I can kick it into high gear here and I dry all that off really good. And that'll again put control back in my corner and now that it's pretty much almost dry there, I can just turn it over, flip it, and press everything down. So we're ready to roll. Because that white tabletop isn't pure white, it's off-white, um, I can use a nice crisp piece of white paper here for my tea kettle. You can see I'm holding it over the area that it's going to be uh, used in and kind of redrawing the kettle. And now, that's going to help me, of course, get the scale that I need. And here I can just start cutting it out. Um, I can use an X-Acto knife. You can use scissors, whatever you, you prefer to cut with is fine. And there you go. So I'll get those scraps out of the way. So again, they don't uh, blow all over my studio when I crank the dryer up again. And right away, we're rocking, man. We got the background going. We've got the tabletop in there in no time flat, four minutes. And here we've got our tea kettle um, ready to pour. So working pretty good so far. Again, design composition is always good. So you've got the tea kettle, which is off center and to the right. And then we have our a little handle, which I'm doing here in green. So I thought that green would flow nice uh, with the browns. Uh, so again, this tea kettle handle is huge. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there, but clearly um, I was a, a little bit too, too wild or 
too loose with the size, but it's no big deal. I can, uh, I'll go back later and fix that. But for now, I'm just going to glue it. We'll get that up there and voila, rocking and rolling. I have a saucer and a teacup here. And my thought is to cut out something that would work for both of them. So basically cutting out a shape that I can begin to use for a teacup and saucer and then I can divide those by just simply drawing with my pencil into it. So with this one I really wanted to showcase some drawing techniques. Uh, being able to you know, use a pencil, charcoal, crayon, whatever it is you want to draw with uh, into your work. And I found this little scrap yellow piece and I had an idea just to kind of put it in there to maybe tie in the background. And again, a little more pencil work here. So adding some details to the lid, the top of the tea kettle there. And now I need a spout for it. So I will cut out this sort of triangle looking shape and get this feeling of a, of a round hollow uh, shape or tube basically and that should work pretty good so getting that glued in, in place now I can use my pencil to make that where it's more hollow on the inside and good to go so drawing a bottom to the tea kettle now and then the tea cup and then our opening to the tea cup so I need a handle, so I'll just draw that in with, you know, without making a big fuss about it. And just a few scribbles there for the bottom of the saucer and so on. This is a really, if you enjoy drawing and you like to just be playful with it, uh, this is a great technique to try. Uh, just making sure you allow room to, you know, in the, the piece to draw. You know, it's so easy to paint over everything. So if you just kind of start to designate certain things for drawing, um, then it's, it's a lot of fun to do. Uh, but it's just kind of thinking about where you want to leave, what you want to leave out or what you want to do. Like what I did here is I just used the white paper. So by using that white paper over top of the collage, then I was able to easily draw over that paper and use the scribbles that I like to do. All right, so a little bit of brown here, titanium white. That was actually yellow ochre and mixing that, um, getting a little bit of that kind of earthy yellow greenish hue uh, for the tea. And now going in with my liner brush, I'll add a feeling of some details to the pot. So maybe some little green leaves green birds who know knows what they really are it's just something to add some interest you can see I'm mixing a little bit of yellow into that green so making sure that it's not all the same green maybe a little red green rim around the saucer maybe it's a little matching set so just kind of tying that in and making that happen uh, with the green so um, going back in, I guess you can see here with my pencil anchoring the shadow or the bottom of that tea kettle. And now a few maybe dots or lines on the lid. And we, again, just tying that green in here and there, uh, just to, you know, give you something to something else to look at so that it, it's not too boring you know we want enough detail there that holds our interest and you know if you don't have that then a lot of times you know it's just not enough to really to grab you and hold you so all right so working with some grays here I'm going to uh, make that tabletop a little bit darker in a few places in value going over some of the edges just to um, just to create a little more energy, a little more 
um, edge quality, I guess, to some of the shapes. And that's all working pretty good. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the background. So I will mix up a color that is in the ballpark of that background. Obviously, there's a bunch of colors happening there. So I'm going to go with that kind of brick red, clean up the corner here. But at the same time, I'm not painting over everything. Very important to note that. It would be easy just to start slapping that color everywhere. And the next thing you know, you've covered up the entire collage paper. And what a shame that would be. And just touching that color into the T, into a few areas of the painting, just so it, um, you know, it looks good. It ties in well. And now just some darker grays there, as you can see. And getting a feel for it now, it took a, a, a moment there to step back from the work just to see how things were harmonizing together and adding some white highlights, uh, a few shapes that were just kind of lost in the painting process and the collaging process here. And you can see uh, doing some negative space painting there with the gray. Um, is a good way to bring some shapes back and yeah so here just using my towel to smooth things out again a pencil to scribe into the wet paint which is a lot of fun to do but yeah everything is really wet here so again background tabletop teacup there's probably wet paint on everything so important to dry it off Again, that's going to give you control over the colors. I really didn't like where that um, bright yellow, orangish color was going on the cup, so I just painted over that. So as I'm drying it, you can see I'm making changes, uh, drawing into it a little, a little white paint here and there, and just kind of bringing things together, a little detail on the handle and Finally, I think it's time to make that handle a little bit smaller. So I just went over that with some of the brick red that I had pre-mixed. A little bit of bone black and a little bit of that green I had. And just a little bit smaller, I think, makes that uh, a little more believable there. And yeah, now touching that dark green black into a few places. And again... Uh, using just whatever paint is on my palette there that I've already mixed up to clean up a few edges. And that's about it. So I uh, hit it really good with the hair dryer here, get it completely dry. And now let's have a look at the piece so you can appreciate the colors. Um, I'll bring you in now and show you some details. You can see it's got some lovely texture, this piece. Great line quality with the pencil drawing and so on. So I hope you enjoyed the demo. And I will see you guys in the next one.